I got one of these uh, Wi-Fi smart switches from Amazon. Description you can see. It says a uh, SEO. Uh, I don't know how to pronounce the name. That is A Z I O T or S A O T. It's just a small. Uh, the description says it's a smart modular four gang touch switch with six amperes each, with a glass plate. Uh, it is suitable for Anchor Roma Classic and similar kind of plates. And uh, this is the box in which the uh, device came in. Um, you can see the load limitations and are listed here. Um, but unlike what the Amazon page says, here uh, the load uh, says it's a uh, I mean the load uh, description says it's a uh, for incandescent it is 500 watts per output that's mean purely resistive loads uh, per channel it can support up to 500 watts that is around 2 amperes and uh, for LED lights slightly capacitive uh, loads with uh, high interest current at the switch on time it can support uh, 100 watts or 5 numbers uh, of uh, uh, LED lights approximately 20 uh, watts uh, into 5 that's 100 watts of uh, LED load um, similarly for LED strip light also it's like 100 watts per uh, per output and do not connect fans motors or sockets that is more uh, higher power inductive loads uh, so um, unlike the Amazon description it seems that uh, this will support only really, uh, 2 amperes continuous and maybe slightly um, a little bit more um, uh, during for, for the interest current. Okay. Here is the manufacturer uh, details and all. Uh, but uh, one thing to notice is that the MRP says uh, 5000 rupees. But from Amazon you will get it for um, uh, close to 1000 rupees. Okay. This is the uh, the actual uh, the unit you have, we have got like uh, four different uh, touch switches here. It's a four gang switch. So within this uh, uh, two module or, or within within this much size, you have got four different switches. And uh, so these are the connectors here on the, on the on the top side. And this is the back side the switch and here there is one common uh, neutral and uh, line um, so the neutral and the line provides a supply to the internal internal circuits uh, so there's some electronics within this that uh, handles the Wi-Fi communication uh, switching the individual uh, the relays so for, for that needs some energy so that's provided by this line and uh, new uh, neutral um, and this uh, this particular life uh, 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 terminal also supplies to these uh, four different load channels um, numbered as one two three and four so four different loads can be connected here to these one two three and four uh, uh, connectors and uh, so those relays, uh, these are all mechanical relays. So those uh, relays are supplied from from this life line itself. So you can see that this connector is not capable of handling uh, too much current. So the current for these four channels actually will have to uh, come through this uh, through this life line. Okay, so uh, two amperes on each of these. Uh, switches that will add up to 8 amperes so this is the application that you can download from the play store uh, apparently it is uh, uh, it's from the tuya um, uh, service uh, the cloud provider uh, which is one of the most famous uh, iot cloud providers uh, cloud provider uh, world over so they these um, company might have purchased some or least some uh, hours from uh, Tuya uh, service and uh, they are using the same application and it's highly rated in the play store so i have wired this uh, device up uh, temporarily 
with a temporary connection I have wired this up and uh, uh, so it has got these uh, four switches which are which have got uh, white LED backlights when the device is off and then there is the one LED one tiny LED at the center you can see one blue LED and uh, uh, so that's on when there is no connection uh, so I have also opened the um, app on my phone the smart life app so I'll just turn on my Wi-Fi hotspot so that the device can connect so I've turned it on and uh, once the device connects to my phone uh, the you can see the central uh, blue light have uh, have turned off okay so uh, now I can um, use the switch like a traditional switch and turn on individual um, switches so once I switch on uh, one particular switch the, uh, the the backlight changes to green so one by one I can turn on and you can see it's getting reflected in the application also okay and I can turn off as well okay. uh, short presses can turn in turn it on and turn it off okay. and I can press from the from the application also to turn the device on or I can turn everything off all the channels off or all the channels on as well from the from the application it has got a set of timer uh, functionalities let's explore what uh, what we have got here so we can uh, configure schedules on individual switches okay. and uh, we can have uh, let's add a schedule for the time right now is 6.34 so I'll try to turn it on at uh, 6.35 uh, let me see 6.35 let's turn it on save and a schedule on 636 to turn it off to turn it off from sorry and save So it's already 6.35, so let's turn it off at 6.37, turn off, confirm, no, I did not save it, Six thirty-seven. turn off, confirm, save. I'll edit this one to 636. Save. I will wait for. I'll manually turn it off and uh, let's wait until 636 to see the schedule in action. Okay, uh, once the, so my um, mobile phone's time and uh, the internet time is not in perfect sync, it's a few seconds off. Uh, so this synced probably to one of the NTP servers at 6.36 precisely, this got turned on, though my uh, mobile phone has switched to 6.36 a little bit ahead. And uh, let's wait until 6.37 and at 6.37 it should uh, turn off. and it has turned off so we need to see what the behavior of uh, the switch is when we don't have internet and when we don't have wi-fi so let's turn off the internet so i've turned off the internet still now um, the switch has not understood that the wi-fi has turned off or anything so let me turn on the switches 
so the switches can, uh, turns on so the local connection works I mean just Wi-Fi is connected between the we, we just have the Wi-Fi connection between the switch and the and, and the uh, phone and there is no internet connection so nothing is going through the to your server uh, so so I turn this on uh, turn it off from here it gets reflected in the app so the bi-directional communication is actually uh, is actually working over the local Wi-Fi okay now let's see whether we can uh, do the schedules with the with the internet off I go to timer and maybe for switch 2 I will I'll do the schedule and it says network error please try it again uh, so that means to uh, set up schedules you need internet at least for the setting up part okay so let me turn on the internet all right let me wait uh, for switch to again let me go to add schedule the time now is 6 44 so let's uh, uh, let's uh, add a schedule to turn the switch on at uh, 6.46, yeah, 6.46, uh, the switch should be on, okay, save, and add another schedule to turn it off at maybe 6.47, off, confirm, save okay and uh, we need to stay connected to the internet for close to one minute because this uh, device actually um, uh, pulls the cloud so all the iot devices basically pulls or pings the uh, the uh, the service uh, like uh, every minute or or, or, or for a, or, or at a predefined periodicity set by the cloud provider for this particular switch connecting to this two year server the periodicity it's approximately one minute so it takes one minute for the app setting to reflect into the switch so we have waited enough i believe so let's uh, turn off the internet and now let's see whether uh, whether um, the switch can turn on automatically uh, without the help of the without the without an in, without an internet connectivity so we have local wi-fi connection between the with, between the app and the and the uh, and the switch so let us let us see what happens uh, next yeah it has turned on uh, using the uh, it has automatically turned on you can you can see that the switch 2 has uh, turned to green and uh, it has turned on and let's see in the app also it's uh, showing that the switch 2 has turned on now for the off part uh, let's see uh, let me disconnect the wi-fi as well and see whether the switch turns off automatically so i have disconnected the wi-fi and the blue light has come up here on the switch now let's wait until 6 47 to see whether uh, the switch uh, turns off automatically the off part of the schedule whether it executes uh, without even a wi-fi connection that means it is purely locally stored i mean that means the schedule is uh, stored purely locally within the switch uh, let, uh, let us uh, wait a few few more minutes yeah it has it has turned on now the time is 6 47 and uh, the switch has automatically turned off and it is reflected on the switch the switch the uh, switch to color is now uh, the background color is white but it has not reflected on the application because there is no no connection between the two the wi-fi is off let me turn on the wi-fi and let me see uh, let's see whether this uh, application reflects yeah the application got updated as uh, as soon as the wi-fi link got established okay so that means we can the schedules are uh, stored locally within the device given sufficient time after uh, after configuring it on the application if you give like one minute 
uh, it will get updated it will it will immediately get updated in the server the, the moment you configure uh, it in the app it will get immediately updated in the in the server in the cloud server and uh, in the next pin probably uh, it, that uh, that will be that will that schedule configuration will get downloaded to the switch and then onwards it can independently execute it without the internet without the wi-fi connection connectivity yeah. so uh, so that's it thank you